next presentation is a startup. All right, give me one second. There you are. Anish. Hello. Anish. Sir. Yes. Anish is a co-founder and CEO of uh, Curative. And uh, go ahead, continue. Anish. Sure, absolutely. Thanks. Uh, uh, let me uh, just attempt to share my screen and then I'll go from there. Please do. All right. Uh, is is this okay? Yeah, I guess you, you guys can see it. Good. Awesome. All right. So 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 um, so 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 hi everyone. I, I, actually, I I I was quite like excited by by, by what Lee Murray said, which is that there exists uh, like a skill gap, and that exists. I mean, like that will exist, like not just just in space, but but also here on Earth, where 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 it already exists. Uh, and so, essentially, what what we do at Liquidative is that we build AI for histopathology, and specifically, uh, we have built tools to to analyze uh, I mean, like cancer images. Uh, and one of the, uh, the 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 applications like of those is to fill is a skill gap which which does exist uh, in the world now. So. Uh, like a quick bit like uh, uh, about my, my, myself. Uh, I'm, I'm the CEO and the co-founder of Liquid Curative. And I finished my PhD in a field called Leslie Mechanobiology. And that so, so sort of puts me in like both the worlds uh, in terms of being able to, to understand like bio and then like translating that I, I, into how uh, we can apply like my, 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 my mathematics uh, and the like tools to do it uh, for, for that. But uh, be, be, before I ju 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 jump into everything, I think it's uh, uh, like a bit important to, to understand where we are in the world of lip, uh, of lip path. Um, and I'll just give like a uh, like a 10 second like overview of, about like the history of path. And so essentially, uh, the pathology has has been around literally oh, oh, for fully hundreds of years. In the past, 10 to 15 years or so, we have seen that there's been an increase uh, in the, the amount of like digital digitization in the lab. And this has now opened the doors to say, say, uh, uh, all analysis by computers. Uh, in the 2010s, uh, this was be, be, be being done with the say, uh, like the help of, of image analysis. But once, uh, 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 AI had its like, second wind. Uh, things really have been like they, 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 they taking off, and that that's where we uh, actually like come into play. And essentially, what what we 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 do is we aim uh, to build AI way uh, which can help make um, many of the problems which are not facing the histopath path uh, like go away. And so there are three pop broadly categories of these. One is that the workload itself has been like going up. And this in part is 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 because we don't have like enough people in the field, but also because there's a lot of like complexity in the way that the analysis itself has to be done because of the new discoveries that we have had in the field. Uh, secondly, we don't have like an equal distribution of pathologists uh, around the world, even in the same country. Uh, most of the cities are, are rather well served, but uh, the, the sm smaller towns and uh, there are also like a countries where you will have maybe like one path, path uh, for like five mi million pe people. And that kind of a c c c c situation means that uh, to be able to actually solve these problems at like a global scale, you you then have to enable uh, access to, to like pathologists um, uh, anytime from anywhere. Besides that, uh, often uh, you don't know what you're going to see on the slide. And what happens in the labs to, to today is that if it's like a complete co 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 complex case, then an expert is easily brought in. But uh, you don't like always have time to bringing like an expert, you don't always have uh, the, the, the means either. And so in that case, the, the path who you have in your hospital or your lab will may make the call. And uh, the, the skill levels differ quite a bit. And here we aim to, to use AI to then upskill all pathologists such that we are able to get like a, a consistently outcomes across the board. So our broad aim here uh, is to make uh, lipathology, uh, which is 
trusted, explainable, and actionable. And what we believe uh, at Lake Curative is that it's not su su sufficient to, to, to say just build AI, but you have to build the entire fa fa fabric across which like a pathologist must work, uh, into which AI is then embedded where it's needed uh, the, 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 the most. And so, uh, the, the, the role of such a system then is to, to minimize the subjectivity because uh, we do have a lot of lead, uh, of lead discordance uh, 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 between lead dot, 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 doctors. And what we have seen in an R like studies now is that when you give AI outputs, uh, dot, 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 doctors do like tend to agree with, 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 with each other much more. Um, and I'll talk about why uh, in the next slide. Um, now, once you show AI, um, often uh, pe people associate this with, say, like, so, so, so something like ChatGPT because they're, they're like, okay, like uh, AI will give me the, the answer. But uh, you should always think of the pathologists and like the doctors like, overall almost as like scientists. Uh, so solving the, the problem of one human. And so here they always want to know, sure, uh, if your AI is saying this, tell me why. And th that's where we aim to also remove uh, the, the, the concept of like black boxes from this world. And so we, we, we built AI, which, which is then explainable. Lastly, uh, as I said earlier, it's not sufficient to, to just give AI outputs, but this should be easily usable by the, the the, 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 the doctors and uh, the, the medical network around them. And so which is why uh, we, we don't just build AI, uh, but, but we build uh, the, the entire end-to-end like, -end, uh, like fabric uh, uh, be, be, be behind this. Now, uh, I understand that like not everyone is a pathologist. So it's like good, good to understand the, the life of a pathologist on like an everyday uh, basis. So, so this is like an example image uh, from a part of a slide and a pathologist will then like is essentially analyze hundreds of such slides every day the 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 the, the task in this particular case is is to count the the brown and the blue dots uh, and their ratio we, we, we will then drive the the decision of for the patient treatment so this seems okay, uh, uh, especially for those of us who, who, who have not done like microscopy before. This seems like a hard, but not like an impossible problem. Uh, but if you zoom into that small red square, that small square has like thousands of cells in itself. And so if you can extrapolate this, this uh, effectively means that the pathologist is expected to count millions of cells, take their ratios, and then come to their their, their answer. As you can imagine, they'll, uh, they'll probably spend half a month on just this one slide if, if they had to do that. So what they usually do is they take like an eyeball me me measurement. And what we, we have seen is that there can be like a large variation uh, up to like a th th 30 or the like a 40% error from what's actually there. And this is huge for the patient because uh, though the tre treatment can change uh, with like a 10% uh, the, the difference uh, in the in the readout. So in this part, part, particular case, like, what, what we do is we actually uh, like count all the cells for the pathologist, and we then give them like an exact uh, output, and we also show where we count all, all these things. And so this a gives them like a click clear answer, uh, which means that it, uh, that it brings trust. And B, uh, if they will want to know, oh, has this gone wrong somewhere, they, they, they can go in and see exactly where uh, those, uh, those, uh, uh, those uh, like counts came from. And then of course, like, each of them uh, will, will then also have their individual uh, data like, be, be behind them, which will then allow uh, the, the doctor to go in and then change things if they feel uh, like, uh, like differently. So, so this was like an easy example, but we have also done uh, studies on say things like prostate ca 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 cancer, where we have been able to show that at the lab level, as, as well as at like the pathologist, uh, like the level, we, we, we can drive uh, both like be 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 benefits and like co 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 confidence in the this system because like, for example in this particular case we are able to use ai to to say rule out around like 60 percent 
of the cases as being normal with, with high leg confidence. And this means that the, the complex cases at least can be worked on by the, the pathologist and we give outputs on those as well, which means that when they analyze them in the first place, they are already equipped with much better information going in uh, than just having like a blank slide under like the microscope. And so this is just one example, but what, what, what like, we, we have done is we have built three broad things. First, like, as I said, we have built a pl pl platform which we call as like Pantheon. This essentially is like an end-to-end -end workbench for the work which is done in a pathology lab, uh, specifically by a pathologist. The, everything from, from the case curation all the way to case like tra tracking, uh, the, 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 the analysis is security uh, is like built in. And for, for finally, we can also use this tool to totally generate like uh, like reports which are much more like consistent because as uh, as you can imagine for a for a pathologist often they have only a few minutes to to write a report but the, 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 this is not great for the patient history because say the patient comes in like a year later and the only thing that the path has has written is like one line that, that then is not, 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 not great and so we also enable the the writing of like a, 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 a consistent and like complete uh, l l or like or like reports in like a short amount of time. So uh, on pa pa Pantheon, time then we have like, it. sorry? Time check. Oh, sure. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, 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 and so then on like pa pa Pantheon, we then also have like uh, have like air modules, uh, which if fit into this, and we also have like a network of lay pathologists uh, that we have been working with. Uh, we have been active since like 2017. And since last year, we have also expanded into the US uh, where we hope to support the labs, hospitals, the pharma co 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 companies, and then also like CROs. Yeah, so thanks a lot. Uh, and I'd love to take, take your questions now. Okay, any questions for Anish? Uh, Anish, there are a few questions in the chat. Oh, sorry. Let me, let me yeah, I can, I can ask. I, I wrote a couple of them. Um, oh, sure. So I wanted Go to ahead. ask, th thank you so much for your presentation. And sure. I love your slides, by the way. I, they're <laughs> amazing. Uh, and very clear presentation. Thank you a lot. I wanted to ask you, what is your difference with companies that are out there like PageAI, Evex? Yep. Path AI, nuclei. Sorry, I wrote nuclear. I meant nuclei, sure, real, yeah. and so on. Yeah, sure. So, um, um, in short, uh, I mean, like, uh, uh just like give, 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 like a bit, bit of the history. We, we, we were born in, let's say, say, say Singapore, and there, where when we like started out, there was like no, no one else in the field, uh, which, which we could like, work with, and so most of our competitors which you like mentioned um they have built like one thing or the like a narrow thing whereas we have said that okay we'll build ai but now we also need to build like pantheon and then we also need to build uh, this like a like a network of like pathologists and that bundling of things has has has, has actually really enabled us to do much better work in terms of uh, the, the outputs that we give and I don't want to highlight like specifically fee features, uh, but one of the things that we do is is we draw very clearly boundaries uh, as to the outputs, as opposed to to to, to say things like heat maps. And this for the, the doctors is, is much more actionable in ter ter terms of like what is the AI actually saying, uh, because if you draw like a heat map, you aren't sure where like the boundaries end. But when you have like a firm uh, boundary which has a highly confidence as well then you know exactly what you have okay and um when i was talking with some of them what they told me is that uh with your competitors what they told me is one of the biggest barrier that they are finding is that the even um digitalization of this of their biopsies of the samples yep. is an issue Yes. And they found that is one of the biggest issues. So I was just wondering, what's your opinion about that, and how you how have you solved that? Yeah. And moving forward, what yeah. are you gonna do about it? Absolutely. So 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 um, interesting. 
Particularly, uh, things have been moving much faster uh, in, in Asia in terms of like digitization. And, and so that has been a big plus for us because we haven't really faced that issue. Uh, most of the labs that we have worked with have already gone like digital. In the US, uh, they have not as much. And so, so far we are only working with those, those, those labs which have gone like digital already. But uh, we are also now like, building like PAPA partnerships which can we which can enable that like stack where we can say, hey, we, we have the microscope, we have the software, we even have like, like the IT stuff in place. So you just sign with one company and that will allow the, the lab to, to, to work across the world. But then they will have to send the samples to you or you'll put the microscope and everything in their uh, lab? Yeah, exactly. So, 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 so right from the beginning, uh, we have uh, tried to make our tool and our like our services as flexible as possible. So in some KKA cases where the, the, the hospitals so, so want, uh, they, they can have the, 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 the microscope on site. Uh, but if, if they wish to like, send it in, then I mean, like this, this is what we are doing in, in, in India, for, for, for example, we have partners who will help us like, digitize uh, them. So, so yeah, I mean, like either option is, 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 is there and we have like tested uh, the, the system both internally and uh, with like our customers. Okay. All right, thank you yep. very much. I think that's the